दिस इज अ पिटूनिया फ्लावर एंड यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस देर इज ए पोलन ग्रेन इन साइड दैट ओके सो यू हैव टू कलेक्ट द फ्लावर फॉर सेल वायबिलिटी ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स इन क्लास ट्वेल्व प्रैक्टिकल्स सो यू हैव टू टेक एनी फ्लावर दैट कंटेन द पोलन ग्रेन ओके सो दिस इज अ पिटूनिया फ्लावर एंड यू कैन यू हैव टू कलेक्ट द पोलन ग्रेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ नीडिन एंड ग्लास स्लाइड ओके ओके सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द परसेंटेज ऑफ वायबल सेल यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द परसेंटेज ऑफ वायबल सेल्स एमोंग ऑल द पोलन ग्रेन्स बाय यूजिंग इवेंस ब्लू डाई इज इवेंस ब्लू सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड फ्लावर्स दैट कंटेंट सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ पोल एंड ग्रेन्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द पोल एंड ग्रेन्स ओके सो जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कलेक्ट दिस फ्लावर फॉर गेटिंग पोल एंड ग्रेन्स एंड देन वी डिसेक्ट इट फॉर गेटिंग पोल एंड ग्रेन्स सो नेक्स्ट वी विल ब्रिंग दैट फ्लावर इन लैब एंड देन वी डिसेक्ट इट एंड देन ट्रांसफर द पोल एंड ग्रेन on the glass slide with the help of needles okay hello students today i am going to uh, discuss about our uh, experiment that is cell viability so this is a uh, petunia flower and this is china rose flower this part you can observe this is a uh, pollen grains so you have to collect the pollen grains with the help of needles so you can just uh, uh, take out only the pollen pollen grain so this is a pollen grain you have to put on the gla glass slides okay so you can prepare two or three slides this is a stigma parts so you have to remove that ones and you have to collect the pollen grains so this is a pollen grains and uh, this is a stigma so try to differentiate stigma always present at center and anther top portion inside the anther there is a pollen grains so you will collect the anther here okay and then we can put a uh, one drop of evans blue one drop of uh, evans blue so this is evans blue with the help of dropper you have to uh put one drop especially one drop okay and then we can left for 10 to 15 minutes okay and then you have to mix with the help of this needles on this uh, glass slide just for a staining of uh, pollen uh, pollen grain cells you can also collect uh, the pollen grain from the china rose yes this is a china rose and you see there is a china rose pollen grains so you can take other samples for china rose okay pollen uh, anther of the china rose you know this is a, a anther parts so you have to put on that uh, glass slide other glass slide okay and then we will put uh, some extra one drop evans blue one drop uh, evans blue okay and then we left for a staining a staining of pollen grain cell present inside the anther okay so now i am putting one drop again for what purpose for china rose pollen grain okay so you have to mix you have to mix with the needles okay after mixing try to remove the solid materials whatever the body part of uh, anthers you have to remove and then with the help of uh, cover slips you can put a cover slips on that after uh, staining this uh, if uh, evans blue dye so you have to first mix the pollen grains in this 
events blue solutions and then you left for uh, 10 to 15 minutes after um, staining of the pollen grain cell that is present in the uh, anther you remove the solid materials whatever the body part of the uh, anther uh, you have to remove but you have to disperse with the help of needles so that the pollen grain cell come in the dye okay and then this is a uh, cover slips this is a cover slips so you will do like that you will do like that a uh, tilted position of that uh, cover slips okay and then you slowly and slowly left it try to remove all the air bubbles okay try to remove all the air bubbles okay and then you have to uh, soak extra uh, dye that is events blue with the help of blotting paper or simple paper you can use we usually use the blotting paper for removing the extra dye present inside the cover slips okay and then you will observe you have to observe in the microscope so uh, just uh, uh, bring a uh, uh, tissue papers just bring a tissue papers and, or uh, blotting papers so that whatever the extra whatever the extra uh, materials present inside that it will come out it will come out okay so i am just uh, using this uh, tissue paper for the purpose of working of extra materials of that um, dye so you will remove the extra dye through the uh, this uh, tissue paper just instead of uh, blotting paper i have used the tissue paper or you can use simple paper also okay but uh, it is better to use the uh, tissue paper no sorry blotting paper okay so whatever the extra uh, uh, materials that is the dye will come it will come out okay and then you have to observe in the binocular microscope okay so just i'm going to um, observe this in uh, binocular microscope so let's in the uh, what is the type of cell whether viral cells or uh, living cells that is present or not so you have to completely dry it you have to completely dry it and then you have to put inside that the this platform of the binocular microscope okay so just place on the platform okay so you have to adjust just see this is adjustment so you have to set like that just keep the slide between that the light should come from the light source okay and then you have to observe the whether the living cells of pollen grain is present or non living cells so you have to count the number of living cell and number of non living cells so if total suppose total living and non living cell is uh, 16 if total living and non living cell of petunia pollen grain flower is 16 and suppose you are getting uh, 8 living cells through this slide you can observe through eyepiece so you have to adjust it carefully uh, and then count you have to count you have to count that uh, number of pollen grains of petunia flowers uh, through this uh, microscope so with the help of eyepiece you can observe you, have, you can observe and you have to adjust you have to adjust whether it is coming or not so just uh, carefully you have to adjust it and then you have to count it okay so whatever the yes it is coming so um, uh, if you observe then total number of the po uh, living pollen grains of petunia flower then divide with uh, the living and non living 
and then you have to multiply with 100. So that will be, that will be the percentage viability of the pollen grains of petunia flower. Uh, this is the experiment in your biotechnology class 12 biotechnology as per the CBSE norm. So you have to perform this experiment uh, and in your practical exam or your practical daily routines for getting the information. So how can you prepare the mannitol? 0.4, uh, 0 0.4 molar uh, sorbitols and 0.1 gram uh, enhanced blue you have to dissolve first in ethanol and then you have to make up the volume up to 100 ml or 50 ml as per your base but you have to put the solution that is the sorbitols so 0.4 molar sorbitols you have to use for preparing this uh, uh, preparing this uh, so this is very very important but if you will not prepare the uh, enhanced blue solution properly then you cannot able to differentiate whether the pollen grain is living or non-living inside this anthers okay so you have to collect the flower from the, your gardens and then you have to put on the glass slide and then you have to put one drop of this uh, events blue solution and then left it for 15 to 20 minutes after that you have to put a cover slip you have to put cover slip in tilted position and then you have to remove the extra dye whatever the present on the your glass slide and then you have to uh, observe in 15x or 100x uh, compound microscope to calculate the percentage of cell viability you have to differentiate the cell which is living will not take a stain of that events blue but those cell which is non-living that will take the stain so hello students today i am going to discuss about uh, binocular microscope binocular why it is binocular because there is a two eyepiece lens this is eyepiece lens that is 10x and this is also 10x eyepiece lens why it is eyepiece lens because your eye will be there when observing any sample okay so please uh, try to understand what are the different part of this compound microscope that is binocular microscope okay so let us start with uh, this is eyepiece lens you keep your eye like that okay and you can observe the pollen grains and then this is objective lens this is objective lens it is indicated as 10x okay and below that this area is platform this area is platform where you put a slide so children please come and try to listen this uh, uh, how it is working okay so this is glass slide where i have put uh, the pollen grain of petunia flowers and like that just see and then after soaking with blotting paper i have put here on the platform and this is the clamp this is the clamp for uh, keeping the glass light in correct position okay so now come to adjuster so there is a uh, forward backward adjuster of the platform okay and this is uh, left side right side adjuster okay this is left side right, right side adjuster and this is coarse adjustment and this is fine adjustment okay so you can uh, uh, roughly adjust your glass slide that, that that contain sample and you finally adjust with this fine adjustment this is the fine adjustment this is coarse adjustment now this is a light source okay and you can observe there is a diaphragm okay this is a diaphragm through this diaphragm you can adjust the amount of light will go inside that on that uh, and that uh, uh, glass light so just see uh, if you observe closely then you can observe this is adjuster okay of diaphragm this is adjuster of diaphragm and you know this is a stand this is the body part is body part of the uh, compound microscope 
compound microscope especially binocular microscope and you can observe light source light source that is the electricity light it is coming through that okay so this is a uh, advanced form of compound microscope and you can uh, take uh, photographs of that uh, this is microscopic result of cell viability of pollen grains of the flowering plants observed through 10x ip lens 10x and 100x objective lens under binocular compound microscope so this is actual slide observed by our students in 10x eyepiece lens 10x and 100x objective lens it is captured by our camera present in our mobiles so you can show the results of pollen grains the blue color stain taken by this pollen grain that is dead and the white color that is live pollen grains so you will count the total number of blue color pollen grains and total number of white color pollen grains and then you can calculate the percentage viability of the pollen grains that is present in any anthers any samples of petunia flower or any flowers thank you and have a nice day